Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be providing a really useful maths technique to ace your maths test, and make sure you stick around to the end for two bonus ones. Also known as cherry picking question, this technique is used among math nerds. In this trick, one goes through the paper and solves the easy questions first. This technique includes three rounds. In the first one, go through the paper and do the easiest questions first that require no working out. These include questions like E is equal to P squared divided by 2M. So in this question, we have to rewrite the formula to make P the subject. And this is a pretty easy question, and we can do it in our head. But I'll write it on the screen. So since we want to make P the subject, we have to cancel out the 2M and bring it to the other side. So we have to multiply both sides by 2M. So these two cancel out. And that leaves us with 2EM is equal to P squared. Now to take out the power, because we just want P, have to uh, uh, square root both of them. So these two cancel out and therefore P is equal to the square root of 2EM. So the answer is C. Which ideally you should be able to do in your head. Now five minutes would have passed if we were considering a 30 minute for 60 question test. In the second round, go back to the start of the paper and do the questions that are simple but require working out. An example of this type of question is gradient in 3x plus 4y minus 7 is equal to 0. So this is a pretty easy question, but we have to uh, do a bit of working out. So firstly, we have to change this into the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So therefore, we have to leave 4y here and take the rest to the other side. So 3x and minus 7. So the opposite of positive is negative. So it would be negative 3x minus 7 turns into plus 7. Then we have to divide the whole equation by 4. So there. So negative 3x divided by 4 plus 7 divided by 4. And the, uh, this is the where we're interested in, which is the gradient. So m is the gradient, and we, leave, we have to leave x out. So negative 3 over 4, which is equal to negative 0 0.75. So the answer is a. And also we can, we can do some elimination here. So when we take the uh, 3x to the other side, it becomes negative 3x. So that therefore we know that the gradient has to be negative. So therefore we can cancel out all the positive answers, which are C, D, and E. We should also take five minutes as there are less of these questions, however, they require working out. In other words, the understanding time would be reduced and the working out time would be added. In the last round, do the worded problems that are under three lines of words. This is because reading a slammer adds on to the time of understanding a question and working it out. It should take up 10 to 15 minutes. Now you should have 5 minutes left. The next step is to go back through the paper and double check over the answered questions until you are 100% sure they are correct. Now go through the paper again and guess the questions you have unanswered. This may seem ridiculous, however, it is more important to spend those last minutes making sure you got the majority of the questions correct, rather than solving a challenging question which you would probably get incorrect. So you may be wondering now, what is the ideal number of questions that should be guessed? Because you can't guess all of the questions. Well, the exams such as the selective school one follow a certain pattern. Easy questions take up 50% of the test. It may not be obvious at first, as many are hidden. Then comes the 30% of questions which are harder. The hard questions cover only 20% of the exam paper. So in this question, there's a huge amount of reading, understanding and working out required. So uh, I'll be uh, answering this question in another video. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Therefore, you should aim to get a minimum of 80% in a maths exam if you follow this cherry picking technique. Okay, I admit I did recommend guessing the questions with lots of reading. In other words, the hardest. And then guess the questions you have unanswered. But remember that you should always at least skim read over those questions. Because much of the time, the hardest questions with a plethora of words can turn into the easiest questions. Many have tricks embedded in them. An example of this is, when you first encounter this question, you would start reading the whole thing. And when you get to the end, you realize that you've been fooled and you've wasted a lot of precious time. So this uh, trick question is incorporated in many exams, including the selective high school exam. So the first thing you should do when you see a slab of text is read the main question. So in this case, it's the last line. How much do the tomatoes cost per 100 grams? So if you read this whole thing, you would realize that 
Uh, it, it includes uh, bits of useless information, such as a dozen eggs for $12 and uh, one two-liter milk bottle for two ninety nine. So we don't need that. We only need to talk about tomatoes. We only need tomatoes. So uh, it's asking 400 grams. So first we convert one kilogram to uh, grams, which is 1,000 grams. So 1,000 grams is equal to $5. So we five dollars, and therefore hundred grams is equal to five divided by ten. Because to get to hundred from thousand, we need to divide by ten. That is zero point five. Of, uh, zero, uh, yeah, so that is fifty cents. This cherry picking questions technique is the best way to manage time in a maths exam. Also, don't forget to check out this forty second video. Thanks for watching.